Hello party people, it is 6.45, I'm coming to you via a voiceover because I thought I would do a little get ready with me, um, but it turns out my brain doesn't start working until at least 10am, um, joke's on me. In case you're interested, that is hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary that I slathered all over myself and what I'm putting on now is an SPF um, by La Roche Posay. Uh, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that right because uh, you know get your get your sun protection kids. Anyway probably about 10 years ago now my mum bought me membership to the v membership with guests so I can bring someone along with me. Um, probably the breath the best, the best present I've ever received. Would highly recommend. Um, obviously, it's nice to give people experiences as opposed to things. And the V&A is such a versatile and interesting museum, uh, and always does great exhibitions. But today, I am seeing an early viewing of the menswear exhibition that's just opened up there. Uh, hence, the early wake up. Usually, the museum only opens at ten, but members can book to go from eight for these early viewings and they're a lot more empty and it's just generally a nicer experience. Oh, there are my earrings. Packing my bag, always bring a book for the tube so as to avoid catching eye contact with people. Uh, not really sure what this was, I think I was just trying to be vloggy. Um. nice day and as you can see I got there before the pedestrianised zone gets all hustling and bustling um, so I really got to appreciate the weather and the relative silence I guess. you per se, but I just wanted to reflect on some of my personal highlights from the exhibition. When I mentioned to someone that I was going to this exhibition, their first response was, oh, are you interested in menswear? Um, and obviously I, you know, I really like the v &A. I go to a lot of their exhibitions just because they're really well done. Um, but what I enjoyed is that that question, especially now I've gone, was actually quite a good one. So the v and summarises this exhibition. At a moment of unprecedented creativity in men's fashion and reflection on gender, this exhibition explores how designers, artists and tailors and their clients and sitters have constructed and performed masculinity and unpicked it at its seams. 
the way this exhibition unpacked menswear was great because obviously, yes, menswear is the subject, but by exploring its history and how we got to where we are today, it really left me with the question, what even is menswear? Obviously that sounds a bit broad and ridiculous, but yeah, just by showing its evolution, um, it really kind of highlighted to me how limitless and ever-changing menswear is and obviously fashion in general. Uh, an example that I really enjoyed, and I put some clips in there, um, was the fact that pink used to be a very popular men's colour. Obviously today, uh, it's changing a little bit now, but for a very long time, pink has been considered super feminine. It's like the colour that girls wear. Um, so it was just really interesting to know that it used to be worn by men um, very commonly, would not have been considered a statement at all. A quote that they put into the exhibition actually that I really enjoyed was a RuPaul quote, we are all born naked and the rest is drag. So these exhibitions are pretty much chronological, uh, they dip back and forth a little bit, but generally you've got kind of the beginning, um, and in this case it explored like underwear and stuff, um, and even like nudity and just the male form um, right back to the Greek ages. Uh, and then at the end you generally have a very bright room and you've got like looking forward slash what things are doing today um, and there's a bit of a centerpiece. So the centerpiece in this case, um, you had the dress that Harry Styles wore on the cover of Vogue, obviously. I was very unsurprised to see that there. And then the tuxedo gown um, that was worn by Billy Porter. Uh, this one was really cool. And another quote that I enjoyed uh, was, I am not a drag queen, I am a man in a dress. I should have put this dress on 20 years ago. So yeah, a very rich and varied exhibition. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to go back. Yeah, thumbs up. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Sure, we can do a little review. What did you think, Phoebe? <laughs> it's very interesting <laughs> and um, uh, colorful. Wait, let's have a more aesthetic background. Um, some lovely velvets. Hello, I am back. Um, I'm about to go and play a hockey match. So if you're wondering why I'm sweaty, it's it's not that because I haven't played it yet. Got a Clementine to cool me down. But yeah, it's just because it's March in England and as soon as the weather hits over 10 degrees, <laughs> I just become incredibly sweaty. It's actually a running through. It's a running theme through most of my videos and it's just something you're gonna have to get used to. Um, but yeah, the exhibition was lovely. The mo it was a perfect morning actually had a coffee and a pastry after good times. Um, I feel like this is a bit low. Oh well, we're here now. Shall I lower this for everyone? Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. But before I go and play, I'm going to show you what I got at the museum shop. Um, I try not to buy stuff, but it was impossible to resist this t-shirt. And again, I own so many t-shirts, I actually like desperately need clothes that vaguely resemble professionalism. But t-shirts and exhibition shops clearly have me in a chokehold. Uh, I'm just thirsty um, because of all the liquid exiting through my pores. Here it is. I'm gonna try it on now. Mm, sorry, I ran out of storage. Oh God, no, it's wonky. That's just it. I need to go soon, so you're just gonna have to accept the the wonk. Um, let me read the label to you. Romantic Roses T-shirt by Luke Edward Hall. 
Hall is an English artist and designer characterised by his love of storytelling and fantasy. Created especially for the v &A shop, Luke's designs are inspired by the v &A's world-renowned collection of historical men's fashion. Luke's artworks range from 17th century romanticism to the charm and curiosity of the 1920s, bright young things. Um, I was just very drawn to this t-shirt. Uh, I think the colours, but also the medium, is that the right word? Uh, it's just, it just makes me happy and relaxed, um, which is obviously everyone's dream these days. Let me just change in something more comfortable. You can look away. You can look away for this. I'm actually not wearing any trousers, um, so I'm not going any lower, but isn't it a nice top? Okay, goodbye.